Hi, my name is Pam Gates. I actually work with Diane Craft at Child Diagnostics. When we started um, learning math, Brianne had a difficult time holding on to math facts, um, especially when we got to the multiplication facts. It just was a bunch of meaningless numbers to her. So we had to use Diane's visual multiplication facts. And they each have a story on the back that you read to the child and lots of clues of how to hold that picture in their visual memory. One thing as a left brain mom that I struggled with is the numbers don't necessarily relate to the pictures. And I also get asked that question a lot. Why, why do the numbers not relate to the pictures? And that's really a very left brain question because the right brain dominant child or the child who's learning with right brain techniques doesn't need that link of meaning to the picture. They need to learn the multiplication fact as a whole. So they learn it as a story and then those numbers which are superimposed on the picture stick in their automatic memory. So every time, for example, they see the 7 times 6, they see in their visual memory the 42. Um, in that particular card, they'll see on number 7 is the picture of the little boy up in his apple tree. Number, the number 6 has the bear, um, and then the 42 is an apple. When we taught the method this way, or when we taught multiplication facts this way with Brianna, she was able to hold on to them so well that by the end, when she had learned them all, she could race against her two older brothers who are really engineering types, and she could win because the picture flashes up faster than the ticker tape of 7 times 6 is 42. So that was just great for her self-esteem because these kids struggle a lot with feeling like they're not as smart as everybody else, which is very, very untrue. <laughs> Um, once I taught the visual multiplication facts to her, my three younger children that had to learn them coming up wanted to learn them that way because right brain techniques tend to be a lot more fun. So don't think that if you're buying this for a child who's struggling or a child who's definitely right brain dominant, that once you've taught them they sit on the shelf. You can teach any child with right brain techniques. Um, kids can learn a lot with visual glue to help things stick in their automatic memory.